Hello everybody and welcome to Toya and Robert's Objects of Desire. A few more of our precious things for us. Show our chums out there. Now what have you got for us today, Robert? I have a painting by my brother along the way, Peter Willis. I didn't know Peter had painted this. Yes. Now the history of this is, Peter and myself were at Sherborne 5, 1975-76, the 10 month course at Sherborne House in Gloucestershire. And when we were left, we were looking at ways of saving the world and creating a new world and embarked on a farming project. Gwedna Farm near Godolphin Cross in Cornwall. Peter is also a painter. And this is one of Peter's paintings on the wall at the time of the guest bedroom in Gwedna Farmhouse. And I visited late 70s early 80s a very difficult time in my life and as i was in bed looking out i saw this picture and it spoke to me this in peter's intention as i understand it is to depict symbolically the reconciliation of the byzantine byzantine orthodox christian church and the western roman church and I looked at this and I saw key elements, which you'll see here. Oh, bollocks, you'll see here. <laughs> and this became the basis for the artwork of King Crimson's Three of a Perfect Pair in 1984. The red and the blue uh, are the front cover and the red, blue and blue are the back cover. This continues to speak to me today and is one of my most precious objects. So Buggy, when you saw this, did this inspire the music or was the music already written? No, the music was not yet written, but this spoke to me in... How can you explain how art or music addresses your, your need? But it did. But when we got to Three of a Perfect Pair, I saw the three elements and the two elements combining and that was three of a perfect pair. Now there's something I pointed out when I saw this and it's a little spot on the right. So what is that? That's Peter dropped a bit of paint on the original painting. Well, you see what I love about this, because when we got married, we had to hide at San Creed in Cornwall. Yes, San Creed To has. get away from the paparazzi. Yeah. And we hid with John Miller Yes. Um, and his partner. Michael Truscott. Yes. And what I loved about that experience, apart from it being our honeymoon, um, was that I discovered that artists are quite messy with their own paintings. And I really love that. I love the, the kind of indifference almost. Yeah. Because it makes art so accessible. Well, you strap on and rock out, whether it's with paintwork or a guitar. Okay. I wouldn't use that expression, but I like it. There you go. Thank so you, that, and Thank you for holding that so winningly. It's fine. All I ask is if you're going to hang it, can it hang where we both can see it? Yes, little lovely. Good. Thank you. Because things disappear into other addresses. My wife exaggerates, dear chums. Now, my object of desire, Robert, isn't going to like this. It's his book. He was reluctant to give it me, he was reluctant to tell me about it, and I don't know why, because it's actually effing brilliant. It's very thick, but even for someone like me, it's incredibly readable, because it's in paragraphs. And those paragraphs, like that painting, inform me. So, okay, I open this book, and apart from the dedication, which is absolutely beautiful... What does the dedication say, little lovey? For my wife, best friend, lover, and soulmate. I like that, it's beautiful. So one of the things I first read, the beginning of the middle is where we address our capacity to make personal efforts. We make demands upon ourselves rather than upon our environment. Now th this is, the whole book is just full of absolutely stunning quotes that really make you think, like one of the best quotes you have ever said is get out the way so the way can happen, which I just think is astounding. So I found this quote, this guitar craft house, cause this is a diary, this guitar craft house 
clean and ordered is metaphorically and analogically more than a building within the guitar craft activities where it's conducted. It is a metaphor for the crafty lifer. I can hear and see what's coming. So why do you not practice this in this very kitchen? I told you I could see this and hear this coming, dear. <laughs> He's so much. All right, I will address this a little. All, this... you, all you guitar craft lifers, he's so messy! All right, I'll address that if I may. Yeah. This used to be our home and our kitchen. This is now Toya and Robert's workspace for our Sunday lunching. And may I say that my wife has just taken down a lot of laundry from our GNU because she felt somehow it was inappropriate our filming. Me, I feel, look, this is our kitchen. This is where we live. But Buggy, this is a beautiful piece of work. Well, thank you, Buggy. You, you need to tell the world about it. I know you're modest, but tell the world about it. It's true, I'm very modest. I'm also very humble. The Guitar Circle, Robert Fripp, Pangeric Publishing. Brilliant. It's brilliant. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. We'll see you tomorrow for a very out there Sunday lunch. Stay safe, stay happy. We love you. Mwah. Cheers from Robert. And Toya.